part time here, Grove City, Ohio. You're watching Trucker Josh. Everybody, it's Tuesday morning here, and uh, just getting ready to go. A little bit windy out here. We stopped in Sock Center, Minnesota. Would you believe me if I told you that's where we're gonna start our day too? What are the chances, right? Ooh, nice Peterbilt. Nice. So we had a good night's sleep here. I have about an hour yet until uh, I'm allowed to start moving. So I'm gonna get a few things done. I'm gonna get breakfast. Uh, I've already walked the weasel. We're gonna say good morning to everybody we can. Good morning. And we're gonna enjoy the nice, beautiful sunshine. We've been waiting for this weather all winter. I'm excited it's finally here, even though it's pretty hot. That's okay. The heat is much better than the cold. Up you go, Diesel. Up you go, big guy. Big boy, big man. I'm a yo Yo, yo Weasel, tell you tell before you me. That's my lord pose. What do you think? I always get questions about these steps. The brand is called Pet Loader. You can find them on Amazon. They're about 200 and 250 bucks. And they got different sizes too. It's not just this one size. They got like the four steps, the five steps. They got a whole bunch of different options. I went with this option to work best with the, the truck. And I've had them for a couple of years now and they work really well. It's really, uh, it, it's a lot easier on Diesel when he's jumping out of the truck. He doesn't have to land on his front paws like that so hard. And it also helps him get up a little easier as well. Though getting into the truck is easier. It's so getting out, I'm worried about his back and his shoulders wearing out. So this is my load of lumber. Came from Alberta, Canada. It's going to Iowa, USA. And this rocker arm on the front here, if you haven't seen my past videos, that is for my reload. I'm gonna drop the trailer there and they're gonna load it with a big T, uh, what's it called again? Double T, cement brace. They build buildings and parkades with it and stuff. It's like precast concrete and they load it on the trailer and it rests on this thing so that the trailer can flex but the load can remain concrete because concrete doesn't flex. We've been over this. So you'll probably see it with my next load. This is bolted to the trailer. It rests on here on the front and on the back, there's no rocker arm on the back because the back doesn't need to flex. If both sides were on a rocker arm, the whole load would be like dunk, 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 the whole time going down the highway. It'd be crazy. Every time you go over a, around a corner, it'd be like dunk, and it would like. And so one side has to remain solid to the trailer. The other side, the trailer goes like this. There you go back there. I call that a riser or a bunk. It rests on there. That's chained to the deck as well. And this whole aluminum trailer flexes going down the road and it's supposed to. And this allows for us uh, to transport this big, long precast form, concrete form without breaking it or cracking it. Because the last thing you want to install in a building or a parkade is a cracked piece of concrete. That's the solution. It's like a teeter-totter. Good morning, old blue. 
how you doing? I had washed her yesterday. She's so nice and clean, remember? And then we drove through like a mega thunderstorm and rainstorm. But she's still pretty clean. I mean, not bad. Not bad, but man, that was a heavy rainstorm. So I went inside to their chrome shop here. I got a cover for this. They've childproofed it, so I can't get into it. Oh, aha! Aha! Okay. What was that? And pop that in there. Pretty sure it's just supposed to just pop in there. Pretty sure. Is this like a different size or something? One second here, I gotta get a different angle. Pretty sure there's just one standard size. This doesn't fit. Ha <laughs> ha! I win! Just had to do a little bit of convincing, you know what I mean? Had to bend the sides in just a little bit because it was a little bit wide. Bend them in just a little bit and now. Ha <laughs> ha! That looks a lot better, eh? And if you're wondering when we're gonna start with all the big stuff, uh, it'll be in a few months at least uh i want this truck to start generating money i want to see money start rolling in from it being on the highway i want to get it rolling we're going to start with little things this year uh, i'll probably do the stacks next year uh, those are pretty expensive they can be up to thirty five hundred dollars uh if not more at us so we are going to get to them we're going to start with little things this year maybe a hood ornament uh the the visors on the side of the window here um got a drop visor coming for the uh, the front windshield here oh, we'll talk more about that in the future and uh, who's sponsoring that I bet you can guess but uh, we'll leave that as a surprise Someone, someone's helped me out with that and uh, so the visor around here a little trim around the windows a little bit of chrome like this little piece here we're gonna start with little things like that we're gonna let the truck start making money yeah like get the the flow going get get into a good rhythm and then we're gonna go hard and uh, start with the upgrades once I get familiar with this truck. It's an old truck, remember I bought an old truck. Even though it's been very well maintained, I need to drive it for a while to figure out what's going on. Like maybe there's something that needs to be replaced. Maybe there's something that's worn out that was like on its last legs and now I've got it and it sort of needs to be replaced now. So I just wanna make sure the truck is in good mechanical working order, which I, I believe it is, but I just wanna be sure. And uh, we'll, we'll start with the big things like a, a lift bumper in the front, air ride front suspension, new 13 foot stacks, flat top stacks. Uh, it, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but we'll, do, we'll start with some small things. Like this was one. As long as we do something, right? As long as we do something. Every month I wanna do something to the truck to make it better, even if it's a little. Diesel, you ready? We gotta get going. Oh yeah. Now we're ready. Roll. found ourselves a little walking path here at the rest area. This is on I-94 just west of Minneapolis. I don't know if you've ever explored this one before or not, but figure why not. It's a beautiful day. Can't get unloaded until tomorrow, so we're not in the biggest of rushes today. Finally. <laughs> For the first two trips that I was in Old Blue, uh, we've just been rushed, rushed, rushed. Look at those big houses back there. Whoa. New development coming up there, I guess. Wow, that'd be an amazing property to have. It's uh, one of the great things about being a truck driver, sort of like a paid tourist. You get to go and uh, see all these amazing properties like that. Diesel, come take a look at this, Diesel. I don't want to be too snoopy, but <laughs> this does look pretty cool. Oh, there's like a river down there. And you're building a nice yard there right down at the river. Beautiful. 
lucky people who are building there. Brought Diesel's harness along on this trip. It's a little easier on his neck when we're walking and it's also reflective just like uh, well uh, the leash isn't reflective but it's like a neon color at least very visible to people man yeah there's a river all the way down there i never knew this place was here and you'd never know the interstate is just just up there i've blown past here hundreds of times probably had no idea there's a little suburb back in there diesel wants to go that way the rest area is back up that way we did the whole loop around here What's down here? Yeah, path closed, dusk to dawn. I guess it's open. You wanna go check it out, Diesel? I'll go check it out. Cool. Wow, and there's the interstate right there. How many times have I driven past right there and had no idea this was even here? Oh, this is it. I wonder why they closed this dusk to dawn. Probably because the kids would come here and party then. We were all kids once. That's probably what we would have done. Look at this. Beautiful Minnesota. Diesel, what do you think? You think there's any alligators down there, man? I don't think they're this far north, but you never know. I'm not going to go find out. And you're not allowed to go find out either. I'd fight one man. I'd fight a crocodile and alligators. I'd fight them all. I'm a lord. I'm a lord. I just tell them, hey, lord Diesel. I don't think they would care. I don't think they would care, Diesel. Well, I just wish nice. Let's go back. I'll give you guys one good look. One panoramic shot here. Right from the corner here. And the sounds of the 18 wheelers passing by. This is heaven. I think I might have died and gone to heaven. If you can ignore all the algae on the water, I mean. But even then, still. Wow. Pretty cool. Never knew this was here. Now we know. Now we all know. Let's go back, Diesel. You need to get some water. Yeah, if this was Florida, there would definitely be alligators down there. Definitely. There she is. Still pretty clean after driving through that rainstorm yesterday. That's good. For a screenshot. Beautiful, beautiful Iowa. Cornfields as far as the eye can see. And I feel really good right now. I was kind of a basket case of anxiety for today and I didn't want to say anything to jinx it, but I really thought that I had some transmission problems. Every time the truck would pull going up a hill, it would make a sound like And I was freaking out. I was and then I went through a phase of trying to convince myself that it's okay. I was like, Josh, this is what you signed up for. You bought an old truck. You knew you'd have to rebuild it from the ground up. And then I argue with myself, but I didn't know it would be so soon. And then I'd argue back and say, but that's what you signed up for. You're gonna have to rebuild the transmission. There's something wrong with your transmission. Crawled underneath there, checked the what linkages I could. Everything seemed good. Couldn't figure out why. When it was in gear and pulling, it would make this sound and then I had an idea at the last stop that we had we stopped at a rest area and this sleeve you'll notice is not on here right now it's on the ground down there I noticed that when I grabbed it like this and held it tight the noise would stop and when I let it go it would begin again I was like ah. so there's two screws screwing it on I unscrewed the screws and I slid it down so it's not on there problem solved this whole time. Here I am trying to convince myself that I'm gonna do a, a full transmission rebuild. And all it was was a $10 plastic part that wasn't screwed on tight enough. Rattling. Making me go crazy. 
What are we slowing down here for construction? Haven't we had enough of this today already? We're coming up to Des Moines here in Iowa, so I'm gonna pull into the thrust area here for a quick bathroom break. They got vending machines, maybe I'll get a chocolate bar. Now I'm excited. The last break, we have 106 kilometers or 65 miles to our stop where we're gonna sleep for tonight in Osceola. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Osceola, someone someone uh, tried to describe it to me in my comment section. I don't know if I got it right yet. I feel like a big jet coming in for a landing. too noisy people might be sleeping up here already this guy's pulled a lot further forward than he realizes I think he's way too far forward he should be like back here and anyway, way up there and it's an oversized low too good thing there's no cars parked in that area there otherwise I wouldn't be able to get my trailer around him when I left this rest area isn't as wooded as the one in Minnesota was everyone in Iowa must be very short Why are the walls so short? Look at this. I can just look right out. I'm only 5'10". <laughs> but the roof is really high. They got ghost toilets too. Huh. Hershey's, we're 51. Oh, that's fun. What, where'd you go? That, that is not what I ordered. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> What are you doing in there? <clears throat> if you're wondering where I am right now, this is Des Moines in Iowa. I am right there. Look at all those roads, eh? Thanks. Right, Diesel? Exactly. This is actually kind of disappointing. $1.75 US for this. It's like two bucks Canadian. Look how thin it is. The truck bars we have in Canada are like twice as thick and cheaper. Heh, must be because it's at a rest area. It's got that convenience tax on it. Diesel, how's your food doing? You still haven't eaten it, my boy. My boy, you need to eat your food. I have made it just for you. It is for you. You should eat it. How about this? Is there some water in here? Oh, you put one on the floor, I see. Got water here. Here, I'll put some. Quickly fill up his water bowl here. This is uh, where his food and water are. At home, he has to eat right away, otherwise his brothers will eat all of his food. On the road, he likes to just leave it there and uh, eat it whenever he wants it. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. One more hour, one more hour, and I wanna have a shower. One more hour and I can have a shower. Yo, yo, tune in for more rhymes. Deadly. All right, here we go.
getting great fuel economy today, by the way. Fantastic. I always get better fuel economy when I'm in the US. Their highways are just a little bit uh, better for that. Less stop and go. Everything's an interstate. Just go, go, go. There we go, a nice effortless merge. Trucker Josh, on duty. Ladies and gentlemen, the unthinkable has happened. I have paid for a parking spot. I don't know if this is a sign of end times and apocalypses and stuff, but it was either that or risk getting my nose ripped off in the morning. I, I got into a parking spot. All the parking spots are over there. You see everybody's fighting over them right now. I got into a nice one. It was a real tight one. Real tight one and it took me a bit and I was pretty proud of myself when I got in there. Then I realized my nose sticks way out. And, and the people beside me, I don't know who they are. Maybe they're good drivers, maybe they're not. Maybe they'd uh, get out okay, maybe they'd rip my hood off. I'm not gonna let that happen, old blue. Okay, I bit the bullet, it was $16 American, which is probably 20 bucks Canadian. I'm not gonna do that very often, but only in situations like this where I have to find a parking spot because I deliver in this town in the morning. I have to be here and I wanna take a shower here as well too. And there was parking spots, paid parking spots available, which are safe, you see this? No one's in front of us. The guy beside me there and the guy beside me there can just drive straight out. There's no danger to Old Blue. We were safer here, so it was a small price to pay for for a little bit of peace of mind. So I don't gotta worry about uh, what could happen in the morning. I've never had my hood ripped off, but I've seen it happen and I've seen it on YouTube way too often. And I don't wanna be one of those guys. My truck is still, well, sure I'm in my honeymoon phase with it still, which means that I'm very excited. It's very new to me still. But even if it wasn't, I mean, uh, that's a lot of downtime. If I get my hood ripped off here and someone tears my, that means I gotta get a rental truck to keep myself moving. I've gotta fly home. I gotta take care of this load somehow. What about diesel? I gotta get diesel home, which means I probably gotta rent a car. Most rental car companies don't want pets in their vehicles. I would be in a huge mess and I'd have to fight with insurance and we'd have to wait for parts and it would be a month or two or three or four before I get old blue back and I'm not gonna risk that. I'll pay the 20 bucks for peace of mind and safety for the old girl, okay? Or the old guy, whatever whatever it is. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. But hey, look at this. At least we got this now, right? And this is what was, this is what was vibrating before on here, freaking me out. Let's just slide that all the way up. That's there like that usually, right? You can't hear it now, but it was going like, <laughs> sounded like grinding gears before, freaking the daylights out of me. So relieved that that's all it was. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go take a shower and enjoy the rest of my evening here. I hope you guys had a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. For, well, as soon as I'm unloaded here tomorrow morning, I head up empty towards Rosemont, Minnesota, which is just south of Minneapolis. I pick up a preloaded trailer there and head back home. I don't know if I'm gonna make it home tomorrow yet. I, I hope so, but it'll be late if I do. So uh, tune in and see where I end up. I'll see you then.